Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to Symphonic Rain. The Reborn HD Edition remastered by Cyro. Set in Piova, the city of music in endless rain. Guide Chris Burton on the path to become a master musician in a harmonious fusion of visual novel and music based gameplay. Now this sounds super duper neat because music based gameplay within a visual novel i want to see what this is like oh i'm so excited so without further ado let's start this game i, I can't read that yes Letters from Airy always started like that. Hello. Aww. Be my love. そんな些細な天気のことでさえ、クリスと遠く離れていることを思い出さずにはいられないなんて辛いことだよね。あ。もう3年近くこんな生活が続いたんだって最近ふと思い起こしてみました。3 少しだけ時間が経つのが遅くなった気がします。ああ。別れてすぐも辛かったけど、こういう時間もちょっと辛いかな。そしてその日が来るのが少し怖いくらい。そんなのおかしいかな。今年の終わりもいつもみたいに一緒に過ごせたらと思うけど発表のこともあるからまだどうなるかわからないよねああ、my クリスもお願いします。オーライ。そうそう。卒業するために発表しないといけない演奏のパートナーがまだ決まってないって。トルタからの手紙に書いてあったよ。オーナー。私にはよくわからないけど、すごく心配してるみたいだったから早めに決め
All right, that that time up there is uh is the in-game time. Like it's it's not even the correct time. Ready, six o'clock. Night was closing in. That being said, the scene outside didn't change dramatically. The already gloomy sky just got a little darker. The rain pattered endlessly against the window. What's that? Who are you? With their light wings gently cutting the air, Forney floated from the windowsill to the desk. What the? Whoa, what is this? Who are you? Oh, I, I guess it's just normal? Then she gently flitted about 10 centimeters above its surface. The wings on her back moved restlessly, but it didn't look like they were what made her float. She was a mysterious creature, to be sure. Yeah, I know. The weekly exchange of letters with Ari always went like this. I didn't have much free time. I was just sticking faithfully to it because Ari said, I want to read your replies right away. On the other hand, her letters didn't always arrive right away. When I read a letter and put it in the post the next day, it arrives two days later. Since it took four days for a round trip, there was no reason to hurry. But the bakery she worked at was popular in our hometown and successfully enough that people would come from far away to shop there on the weekends. She was still in training and had to work hard. She barely had time to sleep. Oh no. Barry would read my letter that arrived in the middle of the week and write a reply on Friday, her only day off. That letter would get to me on Sunday afternoon. The post office was closed that day so I could take my time writing a reply. Wait, hold on. Post office is closed on Sunday, yet you get the... What? You, you get the letter from... from on, on, that doesn't make any sense. Just as Aerie said in her letter, this routine had been going on for almost three years. Yeah, yeah. Who are you? I finished writing the letter quickly, put it in an envelope, and sealed it away. Then I finally turned back to Forney. Yes? Yeah. I was right. It was my glove. Pony said this as if half bored and fluttered her wings gently. I pulled the fort towel out of the case I carried around school and set it up in the corner. Pony reached out to me and asked me as she always did. Just as she asked, I let Forney onto the palm of my hand and put her on top of the foretel. Forney's wings didn't work so well, so she was unable to fly any higher than her current position. Apparently she could glide from high to low for a long distance, but getting anywhere far at the same height was impossible. Now then. Then I brought the chair over to the foretel and tried lightly striking a chord. Almost everyone living in my apartment building was a student at the music school like me. There was a mutual understanding so I could play without worrying so much even at night. Shall we begin? Thank you. Forney moved her wings lightly while doing her vocal exercises and turned to look at me. I lightly tensed my fingers touching the four towel and gathered my concentration for the opening notes. Magic. It's required to play this instrument, and while there are differences in strength, it's a power said to have been held by many people long ago. So we're using magic to play instruments? Okay, cool. That power suddenly disappeared, instead replaced by an equally mysterious power called electricity spreading through the world. Oh. I'm confused now. The Fortau is a glimmer of evidence that magic existed in the past. Yes? Yeah. I picture the notes. Hello. And I myself became one of the notes making up the chords. I existed inside the music. So 
That was a really nice song. So were we listening to that song or was he playing it? Oh, okay. The final note faded out and the room was enveloped in silence. Holding our breath, neither one of us moved for a while. That sound was soon drowned out by the sound of the rain. <sighs> Sitting on the music stand, Forney sighed lazily with her eyes closed. As she sang, she also became a part of the music. When I first met Forney, she called herself the musical fairy, and I knew better than anyone that wasn't a lie. I don't actually remember it very well. I had just moved to this apartment and was very busy. I simply explained that she was a musical fairy that lived here and we just kind of ended up together. At first I thought I was hallucinating, but she was real alright. But when I but when Forney saw my foretell and said the words let's perform an ensemble, it didn't matter anymore. That's how amazing her voice was and it still hasn't changed. One unfortunate thing was that I was the only person who could see or hear her. Alright, maybe you are hallucinating, uh Chris. That that's uh Oh, that's uh hmm. Her voice was angelic. I know that sounds trite, but I don't know any other way to describe her voice. Forney mm, opened her eyes as if shaking off the last of their reverberations. I was also deep in thought, but came back to my senses and took my fingers off the keys of the foretell. Oh, is it that time already? 
Time passed quickly when I played together with Forney. It must have been because I was concentrating so hard, but when I snapped out of it, I felt tired. I didn't do ensembles with Forney every day. It was always on Sundays. I'd finish reading Aerie's letter, write a reply, and Forney would always say the same thing. Hurry up and let's do an ensemble. Of course. Yeah, yeah, I know. Tiny body and childish mouth. Despite how she looked, Forney always tried to mother me. I won't say it suited her, but she was pretty adorable and it was never unpleasant when she talked to me like that. And might be why she reminded me a bit of Aerie's little sister, my other childhood friend, Horda. Yeah, night. Oh, bye. I even got used to Forney disappearing like that. She really was a strange creature, but somewhere in my heart was a desire to accept her for what she was. Thanks to her, I never felt lonely or isolated since I moved, since I arrived in this town. I mean, that's good. You got a fairy that you can only hear and see, so yeah. Good night. Lunetti, 28 November. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm going to end the episode here, everybody. This is the first episode of Symphonic Rain. I think I'm going to continue this. We haven't gotten to the uh, musical gameplay yet, which, is, I'm, which I'm actually really excited to find out like what that's like. But man, I, I love the music already. That, that soundtrack was just... Oh man, that was beautiful. That was very beautiful. So I hope you guys are excited for the uh, series of this. And let me know down below what you guys think of this. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, you guys can also check this game out yourself. The link is down below in the descriptions. And this game comes out on June 14, 2017. So if you guys enjoyed this again, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!